today on Bob and Bob. Ah, yeah. I think I just sawed myself. Well, there's some great footage. <laughs> I think I just need to reset my pants. Today on Bobba Bob, we review the Dart Marlin screen. <laughs> Well, apart from needing to change my shorts, as they say, from a young lady that's learning to drive, <laughs> it's another beautiful day for a ride, for a review. Bobba Bob here, and today we're going to talk about screens. And in particular, I'm going to talk about the screen that I've got fitted to my trusty Triumph T120 Bonneville 2017 model, the liquid cooled era. And a screen that I needed to put on the bike to just help with a little bit of that wind push from being on the open road. which if you're any kind of rider you'll be familiar with unless the bike has come fitted with a screen from the factory so this bike obviously doesn't come with any kind of screen on it and with the style of the bike being that classic in the wind type of bike you do feel the force or the push of the wind after a ride of any kind of length or time or distance but one of the things that you can encounter with uh, bikes and screens over the years is that it does and can interfere with the way that it feels on you especially around your helmet and your head area it's a bit slippy And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why you have a motorcycle. Just to get through the traffic. So yeah, this bike uh, in its st uh, stock form doesn't come with a screen of any kind. And while it's a real pleasant ride, and when you've got a bike with like the constant type of wind on you, which is different to sometimes a fairing or a screen that might break the wind up it's actually okay because it just feels fairly constant and it's not overly um, sort of unsettling because it feels just it's all one lot of wind coming at you the only thing about that is that after a few kilometers and hours uh, in a row it does get quite wearying because you do have a greater sense of holding on and just that sort of constant push over a, a bit of a ride can be a bit uh, fatiguing. So something just to take a little bit of that off really does help and so I went shopping online to do my research, have a look and of course I wanted to go with Triumph because I like to try and keep the items that I put on the bike to be um, stock and factory. Like the uh, the engine guard and things like that although my catalytic converter delete was not triumph because they wouldn't do such a thing that was from uh, tech parts another video on that maybe on another day triumph screens were not available in any kind of supply last year 2021 because of the whole deal that was going on globally with shipping and manufacturing being so disrupted because of COVID. And I looked at the Dart brand. The Dart 
are out of the UK, the screens are made in the UK, and they state that on their website that they want to make stuff that's uh, that's not the cheapest, but they want to make stuff that for them just carries their own integrity of where they make it and why they make it. So I actually really respect that. I like that. I'm you know always happy to pay a, a fair price for something that's fairly made, not just the cheapest option out there. It's a thick, well-constructed screen material. It's sort of in that. Well, I don't know. It's all plastic, the same. But anyway, it's it's in. It's in a nice uh, hard plastic, and it's got um, a special coating on the plastic to make it scratch and, and mark resistant. It's four and a half millimeters thick, but it's like a rolled or beaded, rounded edge, just to give it that extra. I think that extra sort of. Um, structural stability on the item. It's mounted with stainless steel hardware through little rubber grommets with little sleeves to take out any vibration just to sort of make it a smooth slightly um, dampened type of screen mount. got nice aluminium bracketry, anodized, with um, self-tapped little lugs on the back. It screws onto your factory headlight mounting bracket on the inside of the bracket. I could be wrong there. It's the outside of the bracket. There we are. And it's got a couple of little folded tabs so that the screen doesn't um, go backwards and forwards, or at least push backwards and, and sort of lay down more. I put a couple of pieces of rubber just under mine uh, so that it wouldn't scratch the factory powder coated housing of the um, headlamp bracket. Now from the top of the headlight to the top of the screen on this particular model is 30 centimetres and I think at its widest point down below it's 33 and its full length down to the, the bottom of the bracket is 32 centimetres. So it's about a 12 inch screen all round if you wanted to put it in the other currency. It gives good protection to my chest area and has no interference on my helmet area which is really good because you can't exactly try before you buy a screen. You have to just have it, give it a go, you know, buy it and then you're stuck with it I suppose. But it really does give a good effective but nice look as well, a lot of protection to you as a rider. Now the price is about a hundred pounds out of the UK on their site. And another thing I noticed on their website is that thank you for buying the screen. It's our responsibility to get it to you wherever you may live without that costing you extra. So that's fantastic. Now, in New Zealand, this costs $280, which is higher than even the regular exchange rate equivalent at the moment of £100 to New Zealand dollars. So, someone's clipping the ticket. I did buy it through a Triumph dealership, and I'm not going to get down on the dealership because I've bought a bike through the one that I got the screen from, and I, as well as buying this bike from a dealership. Uh, dealerships exist for a very good reason, they're there to sell bikes, service machines, sell items and they have to stay in business by making money. A lot of people call people, you know, the dealerships and all of those things. No problem with dealerships, they, they're there for a good reason. Fairly steep sort of price I suppose, I mean I could have bought like a, probably a hundred dollar one off our equivalent of eBay trade me in New Zealand. but. I don't know, this one really looks nice for the style of bike that it is. Performs well, it's a good brand, it's got a warranty or did, although I've had it less than six months. I got this at the end of 2021 when at least this was available in stock in this country, so that was helpful. So it's a great screen, it looks nice. I keep it on all the time, not just for longer trips, it really just, just takes, takes that wind edge off just so nicely that I just keep it on all the time. Now this screen comes in a couple of different 
shades or tints. This is the grey smoked type of tint. I think it might be called grey smoke actually on the website. Just a bit nicer to my eyes than just the clear one. So I, um, I really like the, the finish on this one. It's been on the bike for about six months and I've done lots of riding and it doesn't seem to have deteriorated or marked. It's got a couple of slight little marks I think where stones have actually struck it so but that's going to happen in this country and maybe where you live too we've got a lot of like chip and seal roads and that just happens but um, overall it's still got a nice finish and it's lasting nicely. So there's a bit about the Dart Marlin screen. If you're in the market, if you're looking for something for yourself, if you've got a Triumph, if you've got any kind of open bike that you need a little bit of wind relief from, then maybe consider jumping on the Dart website and checking out the sort of screens that they've got for all kinds of bikes, all kinds of models. And you might find something that'll suit you and make your riding experience just a little bit more pleasant over time. Thanks for joining me today on this review. Thanks for some of the activity that's been going on on my channel in just the last few weeks as I've been making some new content after what has been a break for many years. Really appreciate the interactions from within the biking community. It's uh, a great community to be in. Uh, obviously people are out to kill me with the young lady learning to drive today. But I live to ride another day. So it's all good at the end of the day, isn't it? But you do have to keep your wits about you as a motorcyclist. And for you today, if you're out and about, or at any time that you're going to be riding. Do be aware of your surroundings and of what's happening way up the road than just what's happening immediately in front of you. This is Baba Bob wishing you a great day and thank you for joining me. Bye bye.